Prince Harry and Meghan Markle know they have failed big so they are now embarking on a total system reboot, a source has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior royals in 2020 and moved to the U.S., where they are now based with their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. According to a royal insider, when the couple left the U.K., they did so for their mental well-being but at the time but did not have a five-year plan. Since moving to California, the Sussexes launched their non-profit, the Archual Foundation, and made deals with both Spotify and Netflix, delivering Meghan's podcast, Archetypes and the Couple's Record, Breaking Series Harry Meghan last year. Harry's book Spear was published in January 2023 and became a best-seller. Harry and Meghan ran hot when negotiating royal exit and were impatient according to a source, royal life wasn't a world they wanted for their family and while there wasn't necessarily a five-year plan at the beginning, Harry and Meghan are now on a mission to reinvent themselves. Friends of the couple have said Harry and Meghan are now looking to the future instead of dwelling on the past. An insider told People, what we're seeing, dot and we'll see more of I think, is Heckin 2.0. Part 2. They know of their supposed failures and how it's viewed, but they have almost gone more tech than Hollywood. Fail big and all that. They have swapped in and out all sorts of projects and people and are embarking on a total system reboot. The source added, they have a constitutional inability to look in the rear view. Why should they? They are all about the future. It comes after another source said Harry, 39, and Meghan, 42, look so in love after they were spotted making a surprise appearance at the Vancouver Canucks hockey game. The Sussexes watched the Vancouver Canucks beat the San Jose Sharks 3,1 from a VIP box at the Rogers Arena in Canada last week while promoting the next Invictus Games. The couple were seen watching the game with their arms wrapped around each other and they enthusiastically jumped in the air to cheer a goal. The Invictus Games, the international multi-sport event for wounded, injured and sick armed forces personnel, which the Duke founded in 2014, will be held in Vancouver and Whistler in 2025. The couple appeared in public together for the first time at the Toronto Invictus Games in 2017, with them seemingly confirming their romance. Days before their sporting outing, Meghan attended the Variety Power of Women event in Los Angeles to celebrate the accomplishments of women in entertainment. The former Suits actress said she was thrilled to have returned to the entertainment industry with Artuol Productions, adding she is really proud of the projects they have worked on and created so far. Meghan also teased future projects, saying, We have so many exciting things on the slate. I can't wait until we can announce them, but I'm just really proud of what we're creating. My husband is loving it too which is really fun.